Hi guys, update of the Trollo chart, but this time made by Owen the Wonder, uh, who has a Twitter channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe to him, very interesting. And um, also make sure to donate to him uh, BCH or BTC um, uh, as a thank you. Because uh, this uh, chart is very important. Uh, it, uh, I, uh, it can help uh, you a lot. Uh, and it helps me a lot in uh, judging whether we are reaching the bottom here or not with Bitcoin at th Bitcoin at 3,500 US dollars today or 3,600 but it, it bottomed at 3,300 yesterday or two days ago and Bitcoin cash is at uh, at $110 and it was uh, or $100 uh, $95 was the bottom but um, uh, at a couple of days ago also but uh, I think um, a strong case is made here that we are seeing the bottom because the bottom here right now, uh, is it, we are in a total market cap, uh, this is, huh? and uh, we're at 110 billion here. Um, and um, current uh, fair value or, or the trend line is right now at about 257 billion. So, um, Mm, no, sorry, uh, it's a weekly prices here, no, not, not daily. The weekly price right now is not 110, but about 120 billion. Um, according to his calculations, um, uh, ah, yeah, the trend line actually has been going down, of course, with the new data coming in. That's a little bit of a problem with the Trollo calculation. It's from February. Uh, but uh, and that gives you 157 billion at the trend line right now where the red line is but actually um, since February uh, we have new data coming in with lower crypto prices and so this red thread line has been declining downwards a little mm. uh, and so uh, that means that the actually the, the this red line right now I would estimate is probably around um, around 240 billion or so so that's a fair value but we just shot under that to about 120 billion right now and that's according to our and wonder an undervaluation of 47 percent here um and uh that's very interesting because when did the low happen the bottom happened in fiat prices in the previous two bear markets the one of 2011 here that's here the bubble of 2011 then it collapses and then it picks up again actually continues to go up strongly but then you have a new bubble <laughs> where it goes up even more and then you have a collapse that's 2013 eh? there's the first bubble of 2013 and the second which can be considered as one big bubble actually um so this is one big bubble here in 2011 in the beginning how fast it went up here Co correction sideways movement although it's not so sideways eh? a little bit sideways movement here uh, but then it creeps up, but then it goes really hyperbolic again, uh, parabolic, I'm sorry. Uh, and so this can be considered another bubble in 2030. Eh? Uh, but from low till high is one bubble. Eh? From low till high, there's the first bubble in 2011, correction and 2011. Uh, the second bubble starts in 2012 and is for two years till the end of 2013. Then you have a correction here. Uh, but so uh, 2013, uh, that's a 2014 correction and 2015 sideways movement. Uh, but where was the bottom here? The bottom was right here uh, when Bitcoin, for example, correct from 1050 to $160. That's right here in January 2015. And then what happened here on the chart of the spread? Uh, it, it also like passed fair value and then it dropped strongly. Uh, but that's only in one month here in January of 2015 after going for a year down you have a final capitulation move here and you, you see that also here it was fair value then and it drops here and it's at minus 44 percent under in undervaluation that you have the bottom the fiat bottom but after that you see that it is a true sideways movement here uh, but actually, if you look at the numbers, like 160 US dollars for Bitcoin, for example, was never seen again. But it does stay around 200 dollars and 220 dollars for a long time, uh, and then only at the end of the year 
uh, of 2015 it should stop but the best way to uh, time to buy was here at this point when it was only you could say minus 44 percent on valuation even though later it goes to minus 70 percent here um, well this is all coins eh? not just bitcoin with all coins eh? goes to min minus 70 percent but the same is true with bitcoin where it goes to a bigger undervaluation compared to the trend line that continues to go up pretty fast uh, but not so in a sideways movement with the real prices and so undervaluation comes bigger and bigger even though fiat prices stay about the same um but um uh, so and in 2011, we also saw the same here, the, the drop from $30, $32 for Bitcoin to $3 or $2. And then uh, it picks up again. Uh, but this was the bottom. And you can see that um, it's also minus 47% undervaluation here. Um, and um, even though later you have bigger undervaluations here, probably minus 55% or so. Um, uh, the fiat prices are a lot higher here, eh? um, but here also eh? the fiat prices are not a lot higher. But yeah, I mean, there's a difference between $160 and uh, let's say $220 or so. Eh? So that's like 20, 30% higher here. Even though undervaluation is a lot better and actually risk reward is a lot better here. Um, actual fiat prices are higher. Eh? Uh, so, so. I would like to try the, to try to buy the bottom uh, and so the question is are we seeing a bottom here uh, and of course you can make a strong case because it's always been that in during bubble times it goes into overvaluation above the trend line and then the first and then you have a, a correction that takes a long time in 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 in, in the three bubbles takes a long time to get to fair valuation but once it reaches fair valuation that moment the weeks after the month one month maximum you get the bottom and here also one month maximum and you get the bottom of fiat prices so wow we see exactly the same happening here we we we, we, we see some resistance around fair valuation that was the 6000 level here but uh once it breaks it goes down hard and deep and, uh, and 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 shoots at a minus 50 percent about undervaluation and in the past that was the bottom but is it the bottom now mm, well we're at three thousand five hundred us dollars at three thousand three hundred um many people i think that will go lower but yeah there and there are certainly uh, strong arguments for that but i think looking at this chart uh, the the logarithmic regression i think see certain patterns that are important um the pattern here is that when the bottom is reached you see immediately not a sideways movement but actually an upwards movement eh? but that's the first bear market second bear market when you see the bottom you see an actual real sideways movement uh, and of course the problem here with the, do we see the bottom is well that uh the bottom should only be in half a year in the middle of 2019 because of the cycles uh let me show you that um uh this one uh, i think is very important and so 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 this is the same chart uh at the time made by trollolo uh this was uh made in the, the end of 2017 when we were seeing a peak but uh, but then already you could see that um the cycles become longer this was the first bubble here in 2011 was short half a year um the second bubble is uh longer it's um from bottom till top it's about two years uh, and then the third uh bubble is about three years if you count from bottom here till top 15 16 and 17. um so 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 you see that the cycles become longer and longer and, and and some people think that's related to the um minor reward that's indeed also uh, becoming um these cycles also become longer and longer so um so 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 the next cycle um 
Well, the bear market, for example, how, how long will it last? Well, in the past, it always took 50% of the bull market. Huh? So, so you have here like half a year, ha, let's say about half a year uh, bull market. You have half of the time, that's then like three months bear market. You have here a bull market of two years. Well, you have a bear market of about one year before you reach the bottom. You have a bull market of three years. Well, how much is going to be? In the past, it was 50%. Uh, um, the bear market took 50% of the time of the bull market, so most likely that's going to repeat. And so we have three years bull market, that means we had one and a half year bear market, that's still the middle of 2019, that's not till now. Huh? And so indeed, if you draw that curve, and also if you take the next bull market, will be again like 50% longer, as, as it has been the case here then you don't have three years but four years bull market and so from the bottom here it takes you one two three four and in the middle of 2023 2023 you will get uh, the all-time high again uh, but 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 th this seems to be uh, the most likely to happen and so how can you yeah uh, going back to the other chart um, combine this information well i think uh how could we reach a bottom only in 2019, in the middle of 2019, in half a year? Well, it's possible because what we could see is instead of like here you see uh, uh, the bottom is reached and then it goes up. Here you see the bottom is reached and then it goes sideways. Well, maybe here what you see is the bottom is reached and then you go down in fiat prices. Eh? I mean, it's not the bottom then, of course, but just the same pattern. But because everything is becoming more and more horizontal, the growth of all cryptos together, um, that means that, um, yeah, these kinds of lines uh, change direction, eh? bottom up, bottom sideways, bottom down. So I think that's possible. Um, uh, meaning that the current 120 billion market cap uh, will, uh, weekly average will be, uh, the, the actual bottom will be lower uh, around, 80 dollars uh, sorry 80 billion or so so another 50 percent cut from here or um yeah something like that huh? that's possible um and how would it look here on this chart well th the thing is also undervaluation becomes stronger and stronger huh? so here in the beginning you have this bull market and then you have undervaluation but not so much compared to the trend line huh? then you have an again bull market with overvaluation, but then you get a bear market. And actually this, this bear market goes a lot more in undervaluation than this one did. Huh? So the next one could do a lot more undervaluation than this one did. Huh? And so that means that this kind of circle becomes such a big circle. <laughs> uh, and so, um, and these lines, it's like this is a little uh, undervaluation undervaluation but this one could go a lot deeper than this one and it could become like something like this whoops again okay, eh? so instead of going to a, a bottom of minus 70 percent we go to an undervaluation of around minus maybe 80 or 85 percent um uh, at the peak eh? and that means indeed that we do have room here uh, to go uh, lower uh, over the next half year uh, the, the because the, the minus 80%, minus 85% will only be reached like much later. Uh, what, what we're looking for is the bottom. But the question is, the bottom, is it here at minus 47% or is it possible that the fiat bottom this time is at minus 60%? And I think that's the case, huh? uh, that we, 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 we can get in, in, in by the middle of 2019 or over the next few months. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it doesn't... I, can be the middle can also be the start of 2019 but that we see uh, this drop to um, an undervaluation of more than uh, minus 50 percent maybe minus 60 percent or minus 70 percent and that that is the actual fiat bottom uh, and, and and like this kind of move here eh? so here was the actual fiat bottom this time but next time the actual fiat bottom can be here eh? at minus 60 percent and so we see now maybe a sideways movement or, or a small recovery, but after that, a new dive to a, an undervaluation of minus 60%. And then um, we might see the bottom. Uh, and then uh, it continues uh, 
like that would be like go to the bottom here somewhere here huh? uh, but um, but after that that's the actual bottom but after that it goes side uh, then it goes sideways huh? real sideways in fiat value and so it stays around 200 billion mark for one year or so while the trend line continues to go up and then you go down from minus 60 minus 70 percent to minus 80 percent huh? or minus 85 percent you stay there for a long time because after then a one year sideways movement or so a one year and a half probably well, we will be about here at the end of 2020 and then it starts to creep up huh? but at the same this it stays at the same distance of um of uh, of the logarith logarithmic trend line and so the undervaluation stays at about minus 80 percent and then it's only in the years later here 20 20 two and three that you really get a catching up and a new bubble so yeah uh, of course uh, many other things are important uh, to judge whether we found the bottom and i think gravity wave has a, a great 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 twitter channel uh, twitter uh, that you should follow because for example uh, on november 26 he made a series of um, posts here like um, i don't know uh, this one no not this not this this one this was on the, no the first of november so before the big collapse from six thousand. He made a, a great series of posts like what he wants to see uh, for the bottom to be reached. Eh? On the 1st of November, you can find his tweet. I will post the link below and I will also post uh, below the video the BTC and BCH addresses of uh, Our and Wonder uh, for donations. But you can also scan them on the picture here. Eh? You can scan it here and here, but you can also copy paste it from the description. But um, and you have to check out this i will post the link also what he wants to see for all kind of indicators before we, we have reached the bottom and uh, that's already one month ago but he continues to post uh, for example today or a couple days back five days back after the collapse from six thousand to about uh, three, was it four thousand here the november 26. Uh, yeah uh, he posts another interesting thing here that um yeah, where he thinks that uh, yeah it will reach uh, this uh, lower lower uh, trend line. Uh, it has a good probability to reach that. That would be for Bitcoin around uh, 2000, uh, 2500. But I have to say, uh, if you study any analyst, uh, many will have called higher bottoms here. Uh, this, uh, what's very strange about this bear market is that it's going deeper than it's supposed to go huh, compared to the bull market. And so I think it's, it's, uh, it's starting to become dangerous uh, to play the market, try to catch the bottom and not be invested yet uh, for the same reason as can be dangerous to um, be invested in, uh, try to pick the top and, and then miss it. Eh? You miss the top, uh, it goes down very quickly, eh? very quickly. Eh? And these bounces that you can have uh, to sell on a bounce, eh, as a technical analyst love to do, it's actually a lot lower than the actual top. So. Mm, it's a dangerous exercise to, 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 to be like all in or all out and, and not to work in steps. Uh, and, and so I do uh, think that uh, if you're not exposed to crypto or lowly exposed to crypto, it's already very, very, very good idea to build uh, your positions today because, okay, the probability is still, uh, like say, let's say 60% uh, that the bottom has still to be found, or you could say maybe even 70%, but that means that it's 30% that we actually just saw the bottom. Huh? And then also you have to look at individual coins, like it's most probable that everything will bottom at the same time. I mean, that most coins will bottom uh, uh, when Bitcoin bottoms in about half a year. But there will be exceptions. Some coins will bottom for, uh, before and some after, many after also, actually. And um, some a year later, uh, sometimes for the smallest ones. But uh, some big ones could actually bottom before Bitcoin bottoms. And I think Bitcoin Cash, for example, has been such a slaughter. Huh? minus 98 percent already uh, um i mean that's uh that's 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 quite remarkable uh so so i mean nothing is sure here uh if you want to build certain positions uh, i do think it's wise to st st start building them already i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching
and uh, I wish you all a great day. Bye.